This is the world's greatest Vacoma SLC, which I know doesn't sound like much because it, frankly, if you've done any Vacoma SLC other than this one, you probably don't have a high opinion of them. And frankly, I was in the exact same boat until I rode this roller coaster in 2021. And I have to mention when I wrote it because actually this was my second time going on the attraction. The first time I wrote it was in 2014. You can see it here in this footage. Notice the supports are a completely different color. That was only one of the many changes Maurice Piers made to this attraction. The most notably of which was a complete track replacement. They metaphorically RMC to Vacoma. All that old Vacoma track was gone. New Vacoma track went in its place, same layout, and the park marketed it that it's so smooth your grandma can ride it. And I found that hard to believe and I was so skeptical of this ride going in. I wasn't even dead pressed to ride it because I was still thinking it's just going to be like another Vacoma SLC. I doubt it actually made that big of a difference. Boy did I eat those words. I couldn't have been more wrong. This is a complete 180 from the way it used to be. I like this ride now more than some B&M inverts. It is absolutely fantastic. They fixed every single problem you could possibly have with the Vacoma SLC. So let's break this down a bit. What makes Great Nor'easter good? Beyond the obvious of, okay, now it's smooth. One of the next biggest things that you'll notice about this ride that makes it different from a lot of other Vacoma SLCs is the trains. These are the new modern Vacoma trains that have removed that big bulky over the shoulder restraint that is so painful and is one of the main reasons why those rides are so rough. You are constantly banging your head into those things. And granted, this is not something that is completely new to Great Nor'easter. When I rode this ride in 2014, the park had given it those newer trains. While the trains helped, it didn't change the fact that it was just a really rough, shaky experience. But at least the head banging was gone. Now, the track is smooth, and there's nothing to bang your head up against. It's got a very comfortable vest in addition to what almost feels like a lap bar restraint. And what's crazy is that Vacoma has updated this train design even more on other rides. They have a new Vacoma STC suspended thrill coaster that they just opened at Trips Drill, and that's a looping coaster that goes upside down with a lap bar. It's a completely different track design, so I don't know if it's possible to bring that style of train to a ride like this, but I don't think it needs it. Honestly, the vest is just fine. What else makes the Great Nor'easter good? And, and this might seem a bit like an obvious one, but I feel the need to mention it, it is a good layout. Which is surprising because you ride some of these other Vacoma SLCs and you just want the ride to be over. It wasn't until I got on this thing that I really appreciated all of these different elements. The pacing is fantastic. It is forceful. The heartlining of the inversions is perfectly executed. Like, Vacoma did a great job of this. It's just so hard to appreciate when the ride experience is typically painful. With my most recent visit to Maurice Piers, I rode this ride three times, and I could have kept going. It exceeded every expectation I had in every possible way. It is easily the best ride at Maurice Piers and really one of the best rides in New Jersey. I think it also proves that if a park really wanted to improve their ride experience, if they did what Maurice Piers did, a full track replacement, you would have a really great ride. It's just sad because I don't know how many other parks are going to do that. I feel like many of them would just choose to either update the trains, or remove the traction altogether. I know certain parks have taken measures to improve the ride, but not gone quite to this extent. I know the one at Six Flags New England is an example of that, but I really hope that other parks would consider doing this. It's another one of those ways of taking an unpopular, hated attraction and turning it into the best ride at the park. This is a fantastic addition to Maury's Piers. I used to hate it, said Great White was definitely the best ride there. No, no, this is definitely the star of the pier now. It really is so smooth that your grandma could ride it. And for that reason, I would recommend this attraction attraction to just about anyone. For Great Nor'easter's final score, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't think there is anything Vacoma could have done better to fix this ride. This really is the standard for Vacoma SLCs. I don't think they could get any better than this. So I applaud the park as well as the manufacturer for what they did to this ride and really encourage anyone watching this video to go give this attraction a look. I think you'll really enjoy it. But those are just my thoughts. If you've had the chance to visit Maurice Piers and give Great Nor'easter a ride, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it and if you agree with the points I've made. Now, of course, if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you could subscribe. We do roller coaster reviews from places all across the world. So be sure to go check those out. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.